What is going on, NCK? Death Star 813 here. Might as well turn us around. And hope that you guys have a wonderful day so far. Uh, welcome back to Fallout 3. And I got news for you. If you're a fan of the series, then good for you. Because this is now a daily... Well, as daily as I can get. Series! <laughs> um, this is my first ever daily series. I don't know how this is going to end up. I don't know how this is going to work out. Etc, etc. I don't know! I've never done daily series. I, I've seen... A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of YouTubers do daily series. For example, Sly Foxhound, which I am now apparently doing a news radio voice, does daily Super Minecraft, or Super Minecraft Daily. Yes, you heard me right. He does Minecraft Daily. But, then again, he has mods. So, yeah, no. Yeah. <sighs> now, sorry if I uh, blew into you. the mic a bit too harsh. Now then, what are we doing? I don't know. Because, like I said, this is a daily series, and I'm hoping to keep it daily for a good amount of time. But in order to do that, I have to find things to do. And that might be an issue. Why might that be an issue? You know. Because there's only so much I could do. However, this is Fallout, and that's good. Why is that good, you ask? Not 100% sure, but it's good. Okay. So, now I'm done with that. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I know I already said that, but, uh, you know, it's true. I do. I really hope that you are having a wonderful day. You, right now, behind the screen. Whether it be an iPad, iPhone, or whatever. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. As for me, I'm sick. So, yeah. That's, that's not very good. I know it doesn't sound it, but it's like a stomach virus or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But, for now, we are going to ignore that. And, even though it does hurt just a wee bit to talk, I don't care. Because I actually really wanted to get back into recording. And I really, really started, started, yes, I really, really started. I really wanted to, hold on, uh, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, if she's not there by 10, I give up. Not really, though. Um, but, yeah, so, I'm sick, and I don't know how I got her, etc. Um, you know, what caused it, whatever. But, yep, yeah, see, 10. Um, but I hope it goes away soon enough so I can record more games now there is some stuff i want to talk about as far as this daily ah, series is oh yeah this guy okay all right uh-huh all right awesome i have to go i just hiccup excuse me don't worry i won't freak oh i can't wait to hear how the repellent's working i tested it out and it works it's fine uh yeah no i actually did and i ain't gonna waste that time I tested a mole rat repellent extensively. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. <laughs> what more could I ask for in a research assistant? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. Okay. Uh, I don't believe this. I don't believe this is a non-lethal as you have expected to put it. I don't believe that this is a non... I... What? That hurts my head. Sorry, Mara. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm too tired. It is currently 8, not uh, 9.42. Oh, dear. All of them? Well, uh, I don't think I could water down the formula any further. With that much testing, I guess it's beyond correction. <sighs> eh, go ahead and keep it. Maybe you can find a nicer use for it. Right? Oh, but for your trouble, uh, uh... Here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. Okay, I am ready for more research on the second chapter. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks. Oh, and how good God. intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I... And that should be it for the second chapter. Okay, I'm gonna hate myself for this, but what do you mean by handling injury? Oh, this will be fun. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, It'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? 
Yeah, I guess I'll get her eventually. Might as well come here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Yes, because that just makes perfect sense. Well then, uh, I have to go. Okay. Well, I think I know exactly how... Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was a fun twist. Um, but yes, I... Quite frankly, I believe I do have a method of getting, getting hurt. And that, my friends... Requires mines! Oh. Alright! So, that should be enough. Okay, so, I shot a mine and blew myself well, up. How do you feel? Like I said, I blew myself, blew myself, I just blew myself up. You know, I, I get on stage, I make a few jokes, and I'm just booing at myself, and... I just go up, you know? First world problems. You seriously want me to get go out hurt and for your own book? Um, yeah, that. Okay, uh, I hear you're a person to see about buying stuff. Let's talk about serious injury. I've been thinking about the guide. Oh, come on! Okay, serious injury. What? Well, I, I, I'm injured! How about I just... What? Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. I just got... Oh, the 50% health. Son of a gun. I have to go. I have to go blow myself up some more. Or an even better idea. What I call a screaming eagle. Ka -ka! Okay, I think I got hurt a bit too much. Yeah, I don't think she can repair a dead person. Let's try that again. Okay, screaming eagle round two. Or take two. Oh. Son of a gun, either I don't get hurt enough, or die. Like, what? What, what, what do you, what society do we live in where both legs are crippled and an arm, and you still have more than 50% health? I mean, what society is that? What, do we really want our children to live in a society where you have to blow yourself up, jump off a roof, and still blow yourself up again? I don't think so. I think Fallout 3 needs to get Zack together, because this society... It's not working out too well. Bethesda, get your act together. All right, uh, frag grenade mine or frag mine, take two. Okay. Well then, <sighs> I think uh, we can safely say that I'm hurt. Okay, so Moira. Yeah, you see, I blew myself up. I have a concussion right now. I jumped off a building, died. Got back to life, jumped off another building, which is actually the roof of, well, actually, no, it was actually the walkway, up to your building, jumped off that, did barely anything, walked outside and blew myself up again. So, heal me now, or I'm gonna kill you. You know, I think I've found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. Still tastes like old feet, though. Anyway, what's up with you? You're, you're an idiot. You're just, you're an idiot. Let's just talk about serious injury. God, you're such an idiot. Well, how do you feel? You know, I just kind of died and blew myself up, so I feel great! Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. I try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Oh, you know, my only slow thing about inflicting this pain on people like you. Or, this adrenaline helps. So does the fear of death. There's a lot of both. Or perhaps despite my glossary of, it, I can't even say that, expletives, nothing properly sums up this pain. You? At a loss for words? <gasps> oh, it's worse than I thought. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still, and, and, and quit fidgeting. 
Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? Because I blew myself up. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. That's so creepy! Take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. What? Who in their right mind? Oh, God. I think I... I think I just lost some brain cells. I think you single-handedly brought down my IQ, Moira. You're nice, and I understand that you're trying to do good, but for God's sakes, you're so, so, not even stupid, just clueless. Why would you stitch a smiley, you know, I don't, whatever, whatever, just tell me about the stupid Mylurks. Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. You... You... I... You know what? You probably want me to die. That's probably what it is. You really... Really want me to die. <sighs> but... You know what? Stupid quest. I'll try. Jeez. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Alerts down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Alerts inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Really? You... Okay. Good luck with that research. I want to know... Who at Bethesda, when making this game back in, say, 06 or 07, because I know this came out in 08, sat around and they start talking and go, hmm, you know what would be a fun quest? And the others would be, no, what, say, John, what, John? John would go, let's make a quest where you have to make a book about surviving the wasteland for one of your friends in Mechaton. And they'd probably go, oh, that's a really good idea. And then he would probably go, but you know what, we should have it be an idiot. So... Let's have them, you know, stitch a smiley face into your skin as you hurt yourself or get hurt in order to do a quest for her. Let's have her tell you to sneak into a Mylurk lair and not kill any of them. And the other probably just sitting there go, you know, that would be a really, really good challenge for the players. I mean, what? Who? Who would think of that? John, why would you think of that? And of course you're over there. Of course I shot the guy's leg. Ooh, that was a good shot. Come on. Darn right, Cricket. 